Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are working on another story project car in this episode. It is this heap, heap of junk. If you want to know the story, just watch the last episode. But basically, you need to tear this thing all the way down to the block and replace like every single rubber bushing done to man. So, let's start off as we did the last episode by buying every single part that we need, which is going to take about 10 flipping hours. Ooh! Calm down. Inner peace. Be calm. It's only 5,000 things you need to buy. Let's get into it. Cam Gear A. Cam Gear A. Um. What's it? What? What? Uh, I for B. You. Cam shaft I for B. Cam shaft I for B. Clutch plate. Wrong thing. Three crankshaft fan pads. Flywheel. Front drive shaft. Front sway bar. Two ignition coils. Two pistons. Rear sway bar. Three rod caps. And now to count the rubber, the rubber bushings. My guess is 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 rubber bushings. That means this is a leaf spraying. No, no, coil, coil arm, I think. Anyways, I digress. Rubber bushing, 10 of them. Yes, 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 two spark plugs, timing chain, bearing and that's everything required so let's start with the back so we'll go ahead and start off by replacing all the rubber bushings And then we'll do the control arm since we need to jack the car up for that. And actually, we'll also probably do everything with the gearbox on Venice Well. Do 
Yeah, okay. Game plan is replace all the river bushings now. Well, basically do everything we can with the car at this level that doesn't deal with tearing the engine down to nothing. And then jack the car up, do everything else, and jack the car back down, and do the engine. We do need to tear this down some. So, I'm just gonna see this down. And after a much, much long, after much waiting, we finally have a stuck bolt once more. So, take care of that. Bring this bad boy up. Bring that up. We can take the drive shaft out now. That's both. And WD for the wrong thing. Okay, back over here. Another bushing. Here. There. Now we will come in here and take off everything that we have replaced. I never took these ones out. Wow, this one has lost it. Lost that once. Now we can jack the car up. First drain the oil. There we go. I did that because we're gonna have to come back here come back under the car when we rip down 
when we rip down the engine. So I may as well do it now before I forget. Anyways, after we get all of these off, we can start putting everything back together. Oh, we have to need to take the sweepers off. Okay, time for reassembly. It's nice to see that they added that you can that you have to have the sway bar in, you know. I, actually I think that's always the thing with this type of shock. Anyways, this video is a very long one, so after we put on these front axles and the stuff in the rear, we'll probably end it and have the engine be next episode. Yes, that sounds like a good plan. Also, I would do like a time lapse of all this stuff, but I haven't gone through that level of editing yet. Anyways, I'm just Almost there. Actually, you know what? Well, uh, nah, yeah, I'll have the engine be a separate episode. Just to save my sanity. And if push comes to stuff, I can't just edit the two together and I have it sound like one weird video. Well, I've been the Smug Mussing, and I'll see y'all next time.